Grisbo and welcome back around to Let's Play Adventure Island 2. I'm your host, Chesvik Gershbachy.nev, and we start off with the Sky World on this little island with a forest and... Let's see, let's go with Blue Dinosaur. And there's, of course, the first Tomahawk. You can always count on the Tomahawks at the beginning of the world. They are, they are that generous, at least. They are also generous with the enemies, as you see. Nope. Oh, what's that? Ah, uh, nothing at all. Nope. I hate those flies. Stop stalking me. Oh, you have something. And yay! Hooray for him. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, no. Leave me alone. I crap coconuts on your head. Or stones, or whatever he's dropping. Maybe he's also. Maybe he's, a, maybe he's pooing or so. I don't know. At least it kills the enemy. No matter what it is, it kills the enemy. That's the main thing. But you're anyway useless. And we proceed to the next little island, which is ironically a swimming level. So here we go. Oh, that was, that was a great start already. Nearly f swam into the first fish. Why won't why won't this thing those things all want to see me dead? Also those water stingers. You don't even exist in the sea. I never saw you there. So feck off. There's of course a bunny in the back. No. Ah, oh, errare humanum est, like the Latin would say. God, those stingers are a nuisance. Oh god, I'm running out of time. I'm out of, out of my dinosaur. Oh, why did I haste? I just lost a good friend. But I got, got four other friends still. And there we go, with the next mountain level. Let's see, which kind of level is that? I guess it's that one, it's one with with the octopi and froggies and more froggies and more froggies and yeah the crabs this is probably the first appearance of those guys but the crabs aren't that special they just move forward and backward they look weir very weird in Grand Shrine and Free they just I call them emo crabs because they look like that because they hide their face with their clam it really looks e really emo-like. Also, the <laughs> facial expression. Oh well, emo crabs. Why not? Oh you no, know, that was close. Gotcha. Who wants calamares? Yum. yum. Ah, there we go. Next level done, and the ne which is the next one? Ah yeah, it's a very unique one. There are only two kinds of this in this whole game. It's the sky levels. And I go for Tomahawk. Whoops. Jump 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 jump. I hate sky levels. They just involve too much platforming. And also those monster clouds. I don't know why I call them monster clouds. I remember this as a kid that I called them mustard clouds. Probably because they remind me of the mascot of a mustard firm. Tommy. I guess it isn't known in the States or so. But it really reminds me. Even if clouds don't look like mustard. But they have a yellow a yellow uh, mouth as far as I, s if I saw that right. Maybe because of that. Yeah, they got a yellowish mouth or orange. Whoa, clouds falling from the sky. Oh, I poor soul. I hope the clouds nobody, nobody, the cloud nobody drops on their head. That was a fucked up sentence. I hope that the cloud doesn't fall on any head. There we go. 
It's not that hard, Simon. Yeah, it's not that hard. Ah, the revenge of the wolves. This time he won't kill me. Whoa. Didn't saw you there, coconut. Take that. Take that. Take that. Uh, no, nothing. No random enemy. That's surprising. And fox. And fox. And fox. And lost fox. Fox. Or Damn it! There was an egg. It was sure a wonderful secret which I just missed. Foxy. I just want, I'm so curious what the secret was. There's probably another point the spring mini game. And this is certainly a lava cave. But okay, you can bet every cave later in the game is a lava cave. The only exception is if it's a vertical cave. Where we have to. Whoa! I hate those erratic perturbos. Uh, fireballs. Cough. Sometimes they jump out fast as hell, and sometimes they just need ages to get out. Yeah, this one is another speedy. Okay, watch out of the. Yeah! There we go! But I nearly touched Mr. Sk Mr. Skull, and then then I went into a. Then I would have turned into a living torch, which isn't nice, isn't it, Higgins? No, nobody likes to be a human a living torch. But okay, if you are a human a living torch, you don't need any lights anymore at night if you want to read. But I guess I, I imagined that pretty. Pretty uncomfortably being being burning the whole time. Isn't also that good for the skin, I guess. Secret. No. Come on, I know that you put a secret here anywhere. Ah, here, right here. Ha! I remember that because they wanted that you jump over this secret with the spring, but I was smarter. Oh, thanks. I just got my lost dinosaur back. Which I lost to the. sadly to a fireball. This is anyway weird why he died. I mean, he can withstand lava, but he dies at. Oh, dinosaur. But he dies against the fireball. It's also the same with those fire stacks who are randomly standing around. Also, the red dinosaur also can't withstand those, withstand those fire stacks for no reason. Hmm. Well, weird world. Let's see. This is a level where, it, where it's, yeah, a vertical descent, uh, ascent. Wait, is ascent re really an English word? I don't know. Let's say just a vertical climb, so that everybody knows what I mean. Uh, yeah. There are also some random boulders. We're just happy, happily jumping out, jumping down the cave, or hopping, or bouncing, or bouldering, and we're done. Just this ascent. There's sure some. There will be a attacking bat. Yep. Then not. Okay. Huh, now it's only the matter if I've got enough time. If he gets to the boss, if I get enough. Have enough time to beat him. Oh, he anyway goes to the mountains. Yeah, of course. Some more sightseeing monster agents. I can actually understand you. Okay, in the next episode, we beat the mountains and we kick Birdo's ass. Just be good for good enough. Au revoir.